Okay, welcome to a talk on KeyPress Hack by Farid Perez, Mauro Eldridge and Luis Ramirez from DC5411. Before we start, I would like to make a brief introduction to both our talk and the speakers. My name is Mauro Eldridge, I'm an Argentine hacker and I work as a cybersecurity architect. I'm the founder of DC5411 Argentina and I was a speaker for DEF CON, DEF Siberia, RoadSec Brazil, Dragon Jar Colombia, Postcon Iran, Texas Cyber Summit, among other conferences. Now my co-speakers are going to introduce themselves. Thank you, Mauro. Hello, everyone. My name is Farid Perez I am an Anne Colombia hacker, system engineer, and master in telecommunication. I work as professor at the University of La Guajira, and I am a member of DC5411 group. Also, I've been a speaker at Dragon Yard Colombia, and now at DEF CON in this village. Thank you, Farid. Hello, everyone. My name is Luis Ramirez Mendoza from Colombia. I am a electronic engineer and hacker and the computer security and artificial intelligence teacher at the University of La Guajira, a speaker in Dragon Yard, Colombia, the Team Village, number 5411. Well, the objective of this talk is to show the assembly of a bad USB device discreetly mounted inside a keyboard, with the ability to send the victim's keystrokes over the internet, like a remote keylogger. This talk focuses exclusively on the construction of this type of artifact and includes a video demo at the end. This is the tampered keyboard we are using. As you may see, it seems at first glance like a pretty normal classical keyboard. But, well, it isn't. Now, my co-speakers and friends Farid and Luis are going to explain the magic behind this electronic tampering. Thank you. In the first play, we have the keyboard. You can choose any type of keyboard that has a USB connector in order to not see much of the alteration that we are going to make. The ESP H266 Wi Fi model will allow us to connect the Arduino to an internet connection. In order to see the keyboard data to a database in MySQL, in order to have stored everything captured on the keyboard. To optimize the site, it was decided to use the Arduino Nano so that it can be easily hidden on the keyboard and also J in the translation of the Chris truck to be stored in the MySQL database. A standard USB cable which USB mini vehicle it replaces the keyboard cable since it must be connected to the Arduino through which all the information must pass in order to apply the key lawyer. To receive this information we will host a two server which PHP MySQL and PHP MyAdmin in order to receive all the values entered by the keyboard. We will also have the Arduino programming interface where we will enter the code that is necessary to interpret if of the Chris truck emitted by a keyboard and it must be sent to store it in the database. 
in Bish in Mosh, um, interface uh, Arduino IDE in the PC. And sometimes very important and very fundamental to have a lot of patience. To achieve good result bacon, this never comes out the first thing. And on many occasions, it does the opposite of what you expect. And even more, so when you organize the circuit and the solder becomes damaged or some sign very unexpected happens. Taking in account the hardware hacking one of one, we have the plans that are completely the component used in the project. Where if we want to do it ourselves, we must jump a normal K bar or the model most used in your country. The wireless network component for Arduino ESP8266 and Arduino Nano, and a standard USB cable, a C2 server, the Arduino programming interface on the PC, and about all, uh, most important, have a lot of patience. In this diagram, it is possible to observe the skin tab our keyboard has because it represents half the represent attach is shaped and each of the component detailed previously in order to the respective operation to obtain the information of each key entered by the bit. We have the connection diagram of each of the pins being which the Arduino Nano, the wireless interface for the Arduino ESP H2 zip zip and the keyboard where they indicate exactly where the connection must be made for its proper operation. On the connection card for the B board, there were many drawbacks at the time of welding and first contact in each of the terminal of side connection. In the same way, when it is not host having the membrana and not making contact, it will work regularly because it will not make enough contact for T to verify each of the pulsation made. You have in the image the representation of each of the component mentioned about for this respective assembly and operation. I match of the four mentioned cards fully operational. Here where are very fine if the keyboard or recognize the computer. In this graphic, we can observe the or modification did not alter the computer recognizement of the keyboard. Here were all already assembled the keyboard for the pen and testing. When a key is pressed, it joins the connected track, rows, and the column. We did the data to the column. This, in addition to going to the computer, it also reached the Arduino. It take read of the continuing, which way for the signal to send to the Wi-Fi the model.
This is how our decay board would look like on the inside. As we can appreciate, all us and the piece are cheap and easy to gain into the bike. It doesn't weigh much, and we are no sign that the bit can suspect anything. Here is the schematic, the Arduino LTS speed connected serial, which means that one that transmit and the other receive very pulsation is received by the keyboard board. The first thing done was determining which are the rows and the column of the keyboard PCB. Wait, a key is pressed, it works and the close, that is, the row and the column are in contact. The Arduino also wait for click. The coding is with main, the translation to know which key press victim. The ESP also has receipt pulsation B to the Arduino, no having a note on the connecting and the PCB of keyboard. To simplify the coding with you, the keypad library sit in making the same principle in GitNet to be to which pin are rows and which are colon. Here we can see a part of the ASP configuration, ready and waiting for pulsation to send them to be the database. Here is demonstrated of the Arduino interprets every pulsation and store in it respective charter to be stored in the variable which will end in the database. Post request to C2 server. ID graphy we observe the code and send the information to the database. Now that you know how to build this bad USB keyboard, let's take a look into how to use it to exfiltrate data. How does it work behind the scenes? So far we note that the keyboard is tampered with an Arduino hack which acts as a buffer for the user's input data. This Arduino hack is connected to an ESP8266 which uh, provides it with network functions. Basically it connects to any open Wi-Fi connection to relay the data. So whenever the buffer is full or certain time has passed, the buffer closes itself and uploads its data by issuing an HTTP POST request to our server, to the command and control server. Then on the server, a PHP script is listening and parsing the data and sending it to our MySQL database. So you may ask yourself what are all these 28 rows? These are sessions. And how do this keyboard manage the sessions? Well, whenever the buffer reaches a certain amount of data or a certain time of inactivity passes, the buffer will close itself and we create what we call a session and upload it with a number. Whenever it is uploaded, the buffer will be cleared and then a new session is created. So, for example, here, let's take a deep look. Here we have session 11, where the user attempts to open gmail.com. Then, certain time passes and the user jumps, jumps into another task, as you may see on session 12. He started writing anything else, a document or whatever, an email. Then, on session 13, the user came back to Gmail, he jumped back to Gmail site and entered his or her credentials, his or her email and password. 
So how much will it cost to build this kind of device? Not so much, actually. We have taken into account the most expensive prices available and even thought that it is not uh, expensive at all. You can have a classic keyboard for 9 or 12 dollars, an Arduino Nano for 7 to 13 dollars, and the ESP8266 which is a very popular product for 10 or 12 dollars. And let's suppose you want to have a cloud instance for your command and control server, it will cost something around five dollars a month so for thirty or thirty five dollars you can have your hardware hacking cluster now it's time for a demo to see how the keyboard might work on our controller controlled environment to jump into conclusions and questions and answers. You have to always be wary of any new device, whether USB or not. Anyone, and I say anyone, could be a victim. Let's be honest here. Would you have been able to detect this tampered keyboard in your environment, for example, if it was lying around the desks of your office? What makes this situation worse overall is that with a few dollars anyone could build or even buy a product of this type. Watch out for counterfeit hardware. Just some days ago fake Cisco switches were found deployed in production environments and nothing less that than core switches. Um, think about it, if we were able to produce this apparatus with so few resources, it is safe to assume that an entity with greater resources could produce them on a large scale. So if you want to get in touch with us at GitHub, feel free to add us at Mauro Eldridge and DC5411 
or on Twitter, you have our handlers here. We are always uh, happy to talk about hardware hacking and hacking in general, so don't be shy to join. And we are here to answer any of your questions. So we hope you liked this talk and we're looking forward to see you again next year. Thank you.